Good morning, everyone. Selena Pompiani here. Things are different right now. Everything is different with quarantine restrictions in place around the world. And with kids not going to school and mostly everybody working from home, traffic is non-existent. It still amazes me to be driving down the parkway during the morning or evening rush hour and to see hardly any vehicles on the road. And look at this incredible drone video. We posted this a few weeks ago. Hardly any vehicles on Pittsburgh's three sister bridges during rush hour. Now, normally thousands of cars Cars would be streaming over the bridges. And of course, it's not just here. Images have been shared from all over the world of the emptiness. But with not as many trucks, cars, and buses on the roadways and less air travel, the coronavirus is also impacting the environment. A NASA satellite shows the stay at home orders are having a positive impact on the planet. With millions of people not going to work, images show that air pollution is down 30% in the Northeast. Air travel is also down 96% from this time last year. And then some of these images from around the world are proof of the air pollution levels. Images of Los Angeles, they continue to blow my mind. Major highways like the 405 and the 10 freeway during rush hour, which are normally bumper to bumper, well, they now look deserted. And check out this eerie image of a completely empty Place de Concorde in Paris and the famous Spanish steps in Rome. I remember standing here. This photo, I, it, I can't even recognize it right now. Everything looks so different. And then there's New York City, empty streets and sidewalks everywhere you look. Times Square is a ghost town due to the lockdown. And something to make you smile, look at this photo from Reddit. This user posted, this is my view from the balcony due to less air pollution. Another person commented and said, wait a few more days, you're gonna see the Taj Mahal too. So as you can see, there are a lot of benefits to staying at home during the outbreak. Thank you for helping yourself and for saving others. Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you, Selena. And so interesting to see the satellite images that show how not driving or flying is really making a difference with our environment. Yeah, that's, that was pretty cool. So something else. Now, this is affecting lower car insurance rates. And, you know, people aren't complaining about that, I don't think. <laughs> so with fewer cars on the road, there are fewer crashes. So some car insurance companies are giving some customers a discount on premiums during the coronavirus outbreak. Interesting. Yeah. And here are two more photos that Selena shared with us of just vacant streets. And these come from a wonderful photo essay in the New York Times called The Great Empty. So this one is from London. That's London. And now we want to show you one from Bogota, Colombia. And this is a highway that is normally teeming with traffic. And you can see it is just empty there. And, you know, eventually things will go back to normal. We will get through this. But it makes you wonder whether people will think about what all that does to the environment and maybe, you know, think more seriously about cutting down on emissions. I agree. It's just so bizarre to see all see the vacant, these, yeah, like vacant everything has been. And... Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, it's quite a time we're living through. Well, still to come, finding solutions to disappointment and sadness when in class school is canceled. Parenting expert Dr. G joins us with help it with dealing with missed milestones like graduations and field trips. There's a lot of seniors in particular who are upset. Yeah, right. Plus, a helping hand for those in need from the Pittsburgh Foundation, how a $1 million grant grew to $7 million for an emergency action fund. And something to warm our hearts, pets, with love and comfort to share. We are live from Animal Friends when PTL continues after this quick break. 